Hi, it's Patrick Leon here. I'm here to talk about real estate investment mindset and how I take this uh, mindset from owning just condo and houses to multifamily and apartment buildings. Now, um, with the same mindset, I have started with just 8 units to 36 units to 20 units, 17 units, and so on. Now, see, it all comes from the way you think. Um, in the beginning, in my real estate career, I have this limiting belief that where, you know, in terms of making investments, it's, it's a one player game. So it's all about me and my own resource, you know, getting the houses and, and uh, you know, and all keeping everything to myself. Now that's, that's the type of thinking that keep me small. In order to expand beyond that, um, in, in order to expand beyond that, I actually went out there and share my opportunities with uh, people around me. And uh, I actually joined a couple real estate investment groups here in, the, in meetup.com and I was able to find people that believe in, in my vision. And my first investor was the dentist and uh, you know he is also a speaker in, in Langley and, and such you know a well-known real estate investor and going back to the mindset going back to the mindset of uh, real estate investing is that you know once you start getting other people involved in in your business and sharing those opportunities because at the time I was making a really good money for myself investing my own capital. I'm, I'm sure everybody here is looking for, you know, double digit returns and, and stuff like that and um, you know, in, in the investment industry and and real estate provide that for me during that time and especially when you bought real estate at the right time. So the first um, key point is that you would have to believe in yourself and expect expand your thinking, expand, include others in your real estate uh, uh, business, in share the opportunities with other people. The, the second um, key I would like to is to share with you is to focus on, is really focus on your goal. Uh, you know, at the age 19, I actually have a whole book, I write down all my goals. I draw out the apartment buildings I will own. I don't own them yet. Right at that time, but I draw it out and and I have a whole you know I, I write down the dates of, on that piece of paper and it start to you know visualize for myself. So I still have that piece of paper uh, to today and and majority of what I set down on that vision piece of paper it have came true for me. And that's you know being stay focused and uh, you know uh, keeping in track even if you have no money. I, I really, at that time, I really go out there and look at deals. I look at deals, talk to realtors, get a bunch of numbers back, right? Ask for financials, right? And um, analyze those numbers and, you know, and go out there and look at property, right? You have to take action once you have the plan, once you have the belief in, you know, take action and look around for opportunities. And that's how I created my first opportunity deal was you know, I was looking around the whole internet uh, for deals and I find this place in Thunder Bay Ontario where where also a group of investors uh, you know, big investors are investing there too so I thought okay let me do some research and I did some research hey the economy looks pretty good there you know it's pretty sustainable and then the, you know, and then I find an opportunity there by by actively seeking opportunity, and the opportunity came in as you know it's an aplex, and the owner of that building have been repairing that building himself, but fell off and, and broke his back, so he can't manage that building anymore. So we have a motivated seller at that point, and so I came in with my terms condition. I asked for vendors take back. We put very little money into the building, right, and we're able to get a a very decent rent when we pick up that building we paid uh, you know we paid a very low price for that building and and uh, we're getting really great cash flow from it right so so that's my first deal and of course at that time I don't have any capital myself because I'm 
all my captives is all tied up on my previous deals, then share the opportunities with, with others, yeah, with an investor. I met the, the dentist investor I met earlier. So I shared it with him and he believed in me and I was so passionate about the deal that he got involved with me as well. And today we have more than double our money on this deal.